Hi everybody, it's Linda with LL Creation Studio and I have this beautiful uh, journal that's in my Etsy shop uh, that I wanted to share with you. This happens to be the number one most favored journal on my site, uh, but I haven't gotten around to doing a video on her yet. This is Jessie and she's a six by nine, rounded corners, smoked edges, uh, like a burnt horn uh, edges around on the front cover. You're going to see that too with this big brooch uh, cameo, a bronze cameo uh, that is clipped on with a safety pin on the white lace. And she's got multiple layers. You have a an inch uh, ruler type thing here. And then you have the white lace and then it's layers of decoupage, music page, and things like that. And like I said, she's a six by nine. She's a pink with some polka dots in her. She's 224 pages. Uh, she's got a little over a two inch spine and it's an exposed binding. And you have this sorry silk pink, rosy pink ribbon uh, that goes on the inside. <coughs> Pardon me. And then on the back side, you'll see the, the polka dots hope it comes through um, all, all the way around and then you have this huge tag and some stamping and then more decoupage of the pink and then you have this huge raspberry stone right here in the middle of the tag so we can open her up and take a look this is sorry silk tie And then you have a printed uh, inside cover here. And you have a lot of little tags there. A newsprint. So I'll do a flip through. If you've seen some, most of any of my videos, you're going to see that most of my journals look approximately the same but with different papers. You know you're going to see the coffee stained paper. Every once in a while I'll put a book page in there, not very often, but double pockets, a lot of mixed media paper uh, booklets like this that you're going to write on. I usually fill every pocket uh, for you that you can always exchange or, or use them as they are. Graph paper, every once in a while I'll do a graph paper. It's been coffee stained. The other day, uh, uh, Johanna was talking about, I watch her videos. Uh, here's a pocket for you. Um, she was explaining what a junk journal is. Um, everybody has a different version of junk journals. When they first came out, they were actually junk journals. You had like magazine pages in there and some people still do it like that. My definition of a junk journal is I use premium uh, scrapbook paper, I use cardstock, different weights of cardstock, I use different weights of uh, this plain paper and then I uh, coffee stain it. My coffee stain, a lot of my cardstock papers. I really, and I very seldom use book pages, are, uh, but this is, my junk journals are really premium type papers. I love paper and, and all of my cards in here are original, um, not original, but are cardstock that you can write on. And so that's my definition of a, a junk journal. Uh, they really are, almost everybody's junk journal aren't really junk journals anymore. They're really nice journals. Double pocket. They hold a lot of interest because of all the pages, different pages, different sizes, different weights, different tuck points, different type of pockets. I always try to have a color theme that matches the cover are totally opposite from the cover.
this graph paper is graph paper on one side and line paper on the other. Got that at Coffee uh, Office Depot. Another pocket that'll be sealed whenever it's purchased. This batch of coffee stained paper really turned out some interesting uh, designs here. I spray mine. A lot of people dip them and then put them in, and that's just, you don't get any patterns. Or rather, I didn't whenever I tried it that way. Patterns that way. Um, so I spray mine and then I bake them. Because I love that crunchy feel and sound whenever you're turning the pages. That this is Jessie, and she is the number one favorite on my Etsy site, LL Creation Studio. colors are coming out or not but this is a beautiful pink and gray a real pale pink and pale gray colors a little bit of steampunk put in there if you've noticed uh, about one page per signature has been put in there for some added interest this is a very pastel uh, color theme otherwise and then the same print I do think this is a uh, 10 pulse print paper rounded corners and it's been etched in the espresso color also and then your sorry silk closure and then your back and then here's her front again. She's really a lot of uh, layering on the front decoupage. And then the, the bow tie that you can add some charms to here, or you can just leave it as the uh, tie. So this is Jessie, a six by nine, 224 pages. Her main color is a muted pink and light pinks and gray on the inside and you can either wrap this around and tie it or just tie it in one big bow but she's a big chunky girl but like I said she's already stuffed but you can stuff a lot more in her so thank you for watching and sharing with me today I am trying to catch up on my videos um, I like to stay in my studio and work and create more than I like to finally sit down and do the videos for you guys, but I know that y'all like to see. Uh, and so I'm trying to see the journals page by page, and I know even on Etsy you can do a 10 page, but I'm almost caught up. 
Uh, I've got two more to do. And then I've got my four uh, Christmas journals uh, to put out on Etsy. And then I can go back to my studio and be creating some more. So thank you so much for sharing with me today. And I hope that you've enjoyed Jesse and the rest that I've done today. And I uh, will see you later. Goodbye.